our bedroom. <laughs> so I watched Bailey's vlogs where she was setting up her Christmas tree and I kind of want to set up my Christmas tree. So um, my boyfriend and I talked about it and I think it's going to go here. It's kind of a silly spot, but because we have this couch still, um, I was going to put it over there, but because we have the couch, I'm going to have to put it over there. My dad gave me that, by the way. He made it himself. I don't know how to hang it properly. I might hang it eventually over there. I kind of want it hanging from the ceiling, but that's kind of impossible. So we just hung it up there for now. So I'm going to move this NES and it's going to go right there. I really hope it's in the basement closet and not in the garage because it's so cold. And I don't want to do that. Go outside, I mean. Oh, shit. We don't need paper towels. We got these. What are these? Are these paper towels? Huh. I put that on the grocery list, but since it's here, we can just use that. Um, I don't know why I have a box. Oh yeah, it was for the dishwasher parts. Oh, my Christmas tree is outside. That sucks. I got it. Yep, it's just a tiny Christmas tree. I'm gonna make sure there are no kind of bugs or anything. It's just dust. I don't know if we'll ever graduate to a bigger Christmas tree. Baby's first Christmas, what? This is not ours. <laughs> Whose is this? I think it's my boyfriend's sister. She had a baby. I guess she left it. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> The most exciting view. My, it's just a piece of bark. My ornaments are downstairs, so once I set this up, I can get the ornaments. I'm already ready for bed, so this is what I look like. My boyfriend also left the garage light on. We got this tree at like Walmart and it's perfect. It's like the right size for our tiny little apartment back then. And I actually don't mind it. So I don't have to worry too much about a big tree. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get the box of ornaments downstairs. My Christmas decor box. I'm actually going to stop um, filming with sound because I'm gonna listen to some music while I set up my Christmas tree, and I'll show you guys the final product. I'm actually just gonna watch Claire make Mentos. <laughs> Pizza! My garland is like seven years old. This like is actually for a much smaller Christmas They're all very uniform. It's actually a tag. I kept there it. It's so cute. Candy center, it's chewy, and then there is a sugar search. So I can look at some of these ingredients and also hopefully find some good stuff on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, okay. The first thing that comes up is Mentos and Coke. Should we watch the video? Can we talk about the game you're playing at lunch? Okay. So we played this game, which I haven't played since I was probably in... Okay. This is what I ended up with. <laughs> Uh, I don't think I put up a Christmas tree last year, but here you go. It's just dollar store stuff, and I think it looks pretty good. This this is a piece of um cereal box that my boyfriend gave to me when we were dating in the beginning. I thought it was really funny. He thought I would think it was funny, and I put it in here. Anyway, so here are some ornaments that don't go up. This is his. This was his sock when he was a kid, like his uh, little thing. And then that, I didn't put it up. Just a leg. And that's it. I did have lights for the Christmas tree itself, but I did put the lights that I did have up there. So I think it's really cute. Now, I want to set up this Chromecast that my brother gave me, see if it works or not. 
So he said I have to download some Google app, but we'll see. We'll see. It is 2.20 on Sunday, November the 17th, and I am in the middle of preparing my, well, preparing my newsletters for my uh, parcels. So I'm getting getting quite a bit done. Um, my boyfriend's sister and her little baby is coming maybe in the next hours or the next few hours or so. She's having a nap, so uh, the, the baby is. The baby's having a nap. So once she wakes up, they're gonna get here, come here, and they're dropping off their kitty cat to be pet sitted by us. So I'm very excited for that. So I'm getting a lot of the stuff done so I can just do that when they get here. I'll show you what I did. So here are my newsletters. I am, um, you know, putting all the embellishments on them, like the handwritten stuff. And then these are the stickers that I'm using from the dollar store that I got. These are a lot of stickers. There was like um, this sheet, this sheet, and then another one in the package. So that was for their, I got it when they had a bunch of uh, Halloween stuff. So it's great. I got two packs of those. I'm printing out um, stickers for the parcels, which I've already done. The, uh, the, the special print is this sandwich one. So I printed a bunch of these uh, for the $25 parcels. And then everyone's going to get a um, Kevin Doodle that I finished up yesterday. Uh, I'll show you guys those in a bit. And then the slasher sticker set is the sticker set for this cycle, but I'm also including a surprise for the $25 uh, parcels and also the, well, I'm including a surprise for them. They are also getting the alien sticker set, which is right here, printing it out right now. I'll show you guys in a sec. Um, and then I have my two uh, ultimate parcels ready to go. They are getting those sketchbooks or those notebooks that I found at the dollar store that I really liked. And then they are also getting... Um, these uh sticker sets so one of the ultimate parcel people suggest uh wanted a kind of urban animal sticker theme so i did this there's a possum a pigeon two skunks there's a raccoon squirrel uh so they get she gets two of those and then um if i don't hear back from another ultimate parcel because every month when the cycle starts i ask what theme they would like but if i don't hear back i do a random totally new one and sometimes i will uh, duplicate it for both so if I don't hear back, they kind of get the, the theme that the other person got just to make it easier for me. So sometimes they don't get back to me either because they're busy with their own stuff and they're okay with getting like a surprise sticker theme. So yeah, so that's 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 what's going on. And I really like how this turned out. My printer doesn't really print out grays that great. It prints it out with a like a, a more bluish tone than I would like. I still really like them. Uh, but this sticker set is a lot of gray because the animals are just a lot of gray and black. And there's brown there too, but really I like how that turned out. And there's like 13 stickers in the set. Um, yeah, these are probably going to go up in my store as well. A lot of the sticker sets that I do for Patreon end up going up on my store. Like these are up on the store. The alien one I still have to put up. But yeah, so that's the progress right now. I'm pretty much almost, well, I'm almost there. I've already packed all the $10 um, sticker clubs, so they are waiting to go along with everybody else. And yeah, oh, and also the ultimate parcels get the, the zine, like I mentioned in the previous vlog. All right, so <laughs> these stickers are really funny from the dollar store. They're really cute, but also like, sometimes they have weird things on them. Like that one says, be a ghoul. I don't exactly know what that means. B A like bachelorette like <laughs> B bagul and then this one it's it makes more sense but like that's funny we'll be back. Does anyone know what that means? B A ghoul. Where'd she go? I just saw her here. Mm-hmm. <sighs>
You're in the basement. I was gonna work out here. <laughs> okay, bye. Come upstairs. Come, Nala. You wanna go upstairs? <laughs> She's taking her time. <laughs> what you doing? You distracting me? Oh, God. Such a distraction. Huh? You're so distracting. Huh? She was just laying on the pillow for a bit, but she got up. And now is distracting me. Hmm? 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 It is now um, 4.44. I finished the uh, poster thing that I had been streaming for the last... I think I, I, I streamed it all day today and then I streamed it I think all day last week at some point. I sent it off. It's all done. I sent off um, my invoice as well. So I'll let you guys know what they say. I know people on the stream wanted me to kind of update when I hear back from them. I'm hoping they like it. I'm hoping there's not much changes. I hope it's what they wanted. But yeah, it's all sent and I'm done. I'm gonna... I was working... I started working today on it from 9.30 in the morning until now and I was streaming for about six or seven hours if you are curious as to why you can't see the video on uh, Twitch it's because I deleted it because it's um, a commission I don't want it to be kind of out there full access because I just out of respect for the commissioner so yeah I'm done I'm kind of brain dead so I'm gonna take quite a bit of a break before I start working on comics which is what I intended to do so yeah, I'm just glad I got it done. It's all sent. I took some time writing the email out because I was um, a bit nervous about it. I really hope they do like it. Uh, Kitty's downstairs. I was playing with her for a bit. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm so tired. So I'm going to take a break from this and then I'll probably check back with you guys later. Go get it. <laughs> you hear the crying child? Hey guys, I'm trying the yellow eyeshadow again. I really liked it last time, but last time I wore it, I was so sick and tired, so we're trying it again. I am just preparing to stream, but I did a little bit of YouTube stuff, and um, uh, I also uh, contacted somebody at Apple because my iPad is broken. It's actually been broken for a while now. It was, it started to, it was broken um, out of the blue uh, before I left for Europe, which was in September, so it's been a while, but it was only, it's only now that I'm starting to like wanting to get it fixed because I miss using it for drawing and also watching stuff. Um, I've, I've always intended to fix it, it's just been procrastinating. I don't usually procrastinate, but this is scaring me because I'm afraid to be paying for any kind of repairs to it. So basically what had happened when it stopped working is it basically lost all touch. It doesn't respond to the Apple Pencil. It doesn't respond to my touch. I tried fixing it myself by looking up stuff on forums and stuff. Um, they said to like update it to the latest um, 
software or whatever so I did that and I did that by connecting it through iTunes it did not work so today I um, scheduled an appointment at the Apple store to see what can be done but I also talked to somebody on the Apple chat support so I talked to that person for a couple of minutes and then they told me to do some things which I've already kind of done and he said that or they said that it's it sounds like my touch is totally gone and it might have, the ribbon in it might be have to be replaced so I'm gonna go on Friday to get it fixed we'll see what happens I really um, hope I don't have to pay too much for it it's really new and it was a gift from my brother so um, and I think he has the receipt so I have to ask him for that just in case they need it uh, if the repair is like $50 or something like that even a hundred I am willing to pay it because it's really useful so but if it's more than 200 or 300 dollars to repair it then i will probably be very sad so we'll see what happens uh so it's charging right now i'll be bringing it on friday to get it fixed i scheduled the appointment for tonight and then right now i was just, just um going through my youtube videos and kind of privating stuff that looks like it's for kids just in case um i've seen a, a couple youtubers talk about it so i thought i'd do it now before um, the year, the end of the year gets too crazy because I think the changes happen on January. So what I'm doing is basically privating all my old art videos. Um, I don't really miss it. I don't really care. Some people might be sad because, um, uh, I don't get any views, much views on that anyway. Plus, um, I'm, yeah, I just don't want to get fined. Uh, but I think it's kind of crazy the amount, what they're doing. I haven't really read too much details on it, but what they're enacting seems kind of impossible. And it, I've seen, I've been seeing a pattern with YouTube now where people, where they do something and people freak out and then it dies down because the changes they're enacting are kind of silly. Anyway, I don't want to get into that YouTube stuff. Um, I'm kind of... I'm lucky that YouTube isn't my main source of income, so it's okay for me to kind of get rid of the videos, it's fine. Uh, the only other thing though I wanted to mention is when I went to my YouTube dashboard, I saw that my channel was eligible for memberships now. I haven't looked into it yet, I just saw that today on the dashboard and I'm like, is that right? I haven't really read through it, but if that's the case, then that's pretty cool, I guess. I ha I'll have to look into it a bit more. I guess it's like a subscription thing. You subscribe for a certain amount of money and then you get like custom emojis or something like that. Anyway, so and then um, maybe in the next 10 minutes here, I am going to start streaming. I finished up the first story of the horror anthology. I know I keep telling people on Patreon that I will have this printed by next year, but I don't think I will be. Maybe a couple stories here and there to bring to cons, but the whole book, I don't think I'll get it done. I'm just thinking really positively is the thing. So yeah, okay, that's enough chatting for now. I really wanted to get a vlog out earlier this week, but we'll see what happens. Um, it's kind of hard to vlog when all I'm working on is stuff behind Patreon um, and also a freelance thing that I just finished yesterday. I haven't heard back yet from the commissioners but once i do i will update the vlog so that's what we're doing right now the kitty is doing great uh she was headbutting me with her on my like knee trying to get attention this morning but i was busy doing youtube stuff so okay chat over let's start streaming i'm trying to work on comics guys it is now 4 p.m and i just posted the first um seven or eight pages that i did for the next story for my comic anthology on patreon so if you're interested in reading that it's all up now and i'm currently working on more pages i just took a little bit of a, run a lunch break earlier on and now remember i need to make tea i heat my i um boiled my water and i forgot to make the tea so i'm gonna go downstairs and do that i'm also gonna check how much footage i have for the vlog this week and see if i can upload one earlier than i did last week and yeah uh just working away on this comic i still don't know where it's going but i'm pretty excited to see where it does go so yeah i opened the windows for her or the blinds i guess or the curtains and um she's just sitting on the couch aren't you Ooh, too much water okay my tea is ready i don't know if you can hear that but my dishwasher is running oh i filled this up pretty full uh Oh yeah, so I was checking my YouTube videos 
and uh, my last vlog for some reason has over 2.2 thousand views and that has never happened to a vlog um, that has just been up for a couple days so I guess a couple yeah weeks so. yes yeah uh-huh Yeah, I was just looking at that. I just find it really weird. Maybe the thumbnail was good? Mm -hmm. I am editing the vlog and guess who took my spot? She was on top of my scanner over there earlier, but I got up and now she has taken my seat. Huh. You must scooch. You must scooch. Thanks. All right, so I'm editing the vlog and I wanted to say something. Oh yeah. Uh, my hair is growing really long and it's kind of awkward. Uh, so what was I gonna say? Tomorrow I go back to work. Um, I'm at work Thursday and Friday. Friday I'm gonna get my iPad fixed. Um, I feel like I could have worked on like my November stuff, but I'm putting that in the back burner a little bit because I'm really enjoying working on comics. So, um, like I'm still gonna do illustrations and stuff, but. For some reason, I just feel really bad for not doing the November challenge like I did last year because it was something I said I would do and I'm just kind of putting it in the back burner so I just wanted to put it out there because I feel a little bit guilty about that but I know I have to shuffle stuff around so I can do comics and that's what I wanted to do. So um, I'm also going to add a little bit of a speed paint of the um, stream that I did this morning of the comic pages uh, so you'll see a little bit of that. I think just the first few pages, um, maybe one or two or three, I'm not sure. Uh, there are free pre previews on my Twitter and my Instagram. I've been putting, I've been putting up like pages one to four, but the rest are going to be on Patreon. So just a warning on that. Yes, get all that hair on my sweater. Huh? Here's a sweetie. Sweetie.
Whoa! It's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're done. Um, again, you guys saw a preview, but uh, if I don't stream, I will be posting the rest of the pages up on Patreon for a dollar or more. But thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. I hope. I wish I had gotten at least ten pages done, but seven pages is not bad. Maybe tonight I will plug away and do the rest of them, but. Thank you so much for joining. It was really great. I won't be streaming until next week, I think, because I'm back to work tomorrow and Friday, and then I have my weekend. So I'll see you guys then, I think, uh, if you guys are still around. So thank you so much. It was really fun to hang out. Um, yeah, thanks, Joy. Thanks, Kludwig, Annie, Magic Secrets. I don't know if Iman's still here. Uh, some lurkers. So, okay, bye. I'm going to um, vlog, so I'll see you guys in the vlog actually, so bye, bye bye.